Hello dancers and welcome to day 23 of our Corona Quarantine Daily Vlog. Teacher Joel here today to answer your question about how does rotation and sway come together in traditional swinging figures. These are two different dimensions and how do they work together as we create beautiful, smooth, coordinated swinging figures. The answer is in the three parts and we're going to go through this first separately with rotation and then with sway and then you'll see how they come together. So part one with our rotation, we could call it our preparation phase. Part one is our preparation phase. I'm going to now rotate and I'm going to talk about my right side. Here it is pulled backwards in a preparation position. Part two, moving on. I'm going to neutralize my rotation so that now my body is square to my feet and the direction that I'm traveling. And part three, my finish, where now my right side has rotated ahead or forwards in the direction that I'm swinging in. If I take this now in the sway plane, the sway plane, part one, preparation, I'm going to use the same words, preparation, and we're going to say that that sway is downwards. From here, part number two, we are going to neutralize or be very horizontal again with our body line. And part three, I'm going to finish with the sway or that side up. So I'm just talking about my right side now. So again, if I do rotation, preparation, neutral, finish, because I'm swinging towards the camera here. Or if I do my sway with my right side, preparation, fin sorry, preparation, neutralize, and then finish. So with those three phases, whether it's now rotation, phase one and sway uh, phase one, we're going to do the exact same thing. So in this um, example now, if I turn it this way, just so you can see, my idea is that I'm going to be swinging my right side forward. Gentlemen, this could be something like a three-step, ladies, possibly a reverse wave in your slow foxtrot. Here's my preparation. Gentlemen, let me just put, put my hands down so that it doesn't distract. I've got my rotation preparation. I have my sway preparation. From there, I'm going to go into phase two, neutral. You can see how now my body is very straight. And then three, my finish. If I do it from this angle. Again, my right side, I'm thinking about swinging forward. So preparation down and back, neutralize, finish up. If I was going to dance a figure going backwards, ladies, for instance, now I'm going to use my right side again, and this would be my feather step. I would prepare with my right side forwards for the rotation. Why forwards? Because the swing is going to be a backwards swing. So here's my rotation forwards. There's my neutral position for my, for my rotation, and then finish with my rotation. If I combine that with my sway, it's going to look like this. Preparation for part one, neutral for part two, and then finish for part three. Notice how my right side is a little bit longer, my right shoulder is a little bit higher than my left. If we go through all of these again, and I do this now in dance position, gentlemen, maybe I'm going to do my feather step in this exercise. I'm going to do it in this direction. Preparation, left side rotated back and down. Part two, neutral. Part three, finish. Again, I want to stress that this is a very traditional approach to having rotation and sway put together. There are many different applications for this in a very traditional manner. I know that people have been progressing and changing things around, especially at higher levels, and we're not going to go over that. But if you, as a dancer now, can get your coordination to be very exact, preparation, neutral, and then finish and be able to coordinate those two very important dimensions, then all the little alterations that you're going to have down the road will be so much easier. What I'm concerned about here, dancers, is that a lot of times maybe people are overly concerned with sway. So they go sway and then sway and then maybe rotation later. And you get into these very uncoordinated and very difficult sequences of actions, especially when you're trying to synchronize with your partner. Then the partner's like, Oh, what's going on? I feel sway a lot and then I feel rotation. And really what we're trying to do is we're trying to combine them together in a very cohesive manner. 
One thing that I want you to be clear, clear about is that the traditional that I'm talking about does not apply to our basic um, reverse turns and natural turns in the Viennese waltz. This is something a little bit different and there has been a departure in terms of the sway timing um, in that dance. So just keep that as a little asterisk. All right, go over this um, a lot with your rotation and sway. Have some fun with it, and if you're still if you're still unsure about where you want to prepare, you can take a pillow. Maybe I'll use this one because we got back black uh, white wall behind, and you just take a pillow and you pretend to throw it. So, say for instance, ladies, I'm doing now my feather step, and I I want to throw my pillow behind me. So what do I do? Do I start with my pillow here? Doesn't make sense because that's where it's going to finish. I want to throw it towards that wall. So what I'm going to do, ladies, I'm going to bring my pillow out in front of me in this direction. And I want to be able to throw the pillow up. So do I start up and finish up? It's not going to really be an efficient um, use of flow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down, bring the pillow down. Then here's phase one, here's phase two, neutral, phase three, and I'm done. And if I do this now in this direction, I can throw the pillow into the wall. It would feel really weird starting here and trying to throw it in that direction. I would start it down here. And there we go. If I was going to do a forwards action and maybe I'm going to do as a gentleman in my feather step in this direction, here's my preparation. It would feel weird having the preparation up here and just throwing it up. Preparation down, neutral, and then finally I can release it. Keep in mind as we're doing this, and this is something that all of us dancers struggle with, we're very used to manipulating things with our hands and our arms, not as much with the body. So when you're doing this throwing pillows or just doing this by yourself and looking in the mirror, make sure that it's coming from the body. You can use your hips, you can use your torso, you can even use your chest and your back, but let's not use our arms and our hands so much. All right, that's all we have time for today. Awesome, everybody. I hope that you guys are um, being able to be active and healthy, having fun at home, even though that we are social distancing and staying safe. Um, but I hope that you guys are taking all this in and really being able to practice it. Remember, I talked about this uh, quite a few days ago, uh, three parts, there's information, there's contemplation, and then there's repetition. Go through that repetition, get off the couch, move about a little bit. You'll, it'll make a world of a difference. Thank you very much. Send comments, send emails. Love to hear from you guys. That's it for now. Boom.